Nokia Nokia Parang Nokia Parang Nokia So, I'm Pragya Parangama. I have done my schooling from Bakshi Jagabandhu English Medium School, Bhubaneswar. Then I pursued my bachelor's in science and geology honors from Ramadevi Women's University. Then further I went on to pursue my master's in science in geology honors from Ravensha University. I uh, I feel I am very determined and uh, a confident person and hard working too. You graduate from Sir? You graduate from Jullogy? Jullogy, Jullogy. Master's also? Yes, sir. You have written as you are a resource person in Indonesia? Yes, sir. I have been selected, uh, selected as a resource person. Mm. It was a uh, unfunded internship actually mm. uh, as a resource person uh, which was done in collaboration with one of the NGOs present in uh, Bhubaneswar itself Kalinga Kushum Foundation. It was a project, oh. advocacy project on child rights. Child rights? Yes sir. You are from Jiloji Amas and Jiloji Ijiri bhi lekha hai ji Amas bhi? Sir. Amas se lekha Amas sa hai ji? But it has been written. Sir, I... Jiloji Amas. I am sorry sir, I have been mistaken, I wrote it. What did Pratik Science College? Sir, Pratik Science College used to be a residential college at that point of time. Where did you go? Sir, Naya Pali. Oh, good. Yes, sir. Where is your native place? Sir, my native place is from Kendrapada. I belong to Kendrapada, my native place. Okay. Suppose uh, you are a woman and uh, you get posted in a place where a uh, lot of violence against women, yes, domestic violence, this violence, that violence. How you can, what will be your modus operandi, how to check it for all times to come? Sir, women's safety is undoubtedly right now a very burning topic across India and also that in Indonesia. Sir, uh, uh -huh. as an administrative, from uh -huh. an administrative point of view, I would like to uh, yeah, if I have been given the interested with that capacity, I would like to increase the surveillance, surveillance and uh, also use modern technology, artificial intelligence technologies for uh, better patrolling and also sensitization and creating awareness from uh, school uh, level to university level and uh, Better, uh, I guess, street lighting and all infrastructure wise, uh, more uh, that is more uh, friendly for women, uh, that is more friendly for women's safety. Like for domestic violence? For domestic violence, sir, already there is an act in place, Prevention of Domestic Violence Act. Sir, I feel uh, women should come out more and report the cases, then only we will be right. As a society, we will be very in a rightful place to judge where we stand. So, the sensitization and awareness should be created uh, to actually report the cases to begin with. And uh, the male, so, uh, male section of the society need to understand that uh, women are at par with them in almost all fields. So, we saw in the newspaper the Bengali burning. Are yes, sir. Sir, as a girl, sir, as a girl, as a female myself, I feel completely devastated and disturbed. The first two days, it was really painful to uh, to read the chilly details about the autopsy report. Definitely, uh, most passing of Aparajita bill was by the West Bengal government was a right step in the right direction. But I still feel more stringent action should be needed and that should be transparency in the investigation of the case as well. No, the bill or whatever criticism has come, it will not be concluded so speedily whatever timeline it has been given to in the bill. Sir, yes. The debates are there throughout the country. Sir, yes, timeline has been uh, for fast track courts have been assigned to function very uh, efficiently. It is there, but all you see, in all said and done, everybody are interested. But the, you know, so justifies the, the truth through the first court, whatever timeline has been given. 
it is just not practicable sir yes it is actually said justice delayed is justice denied whatever, and justice hurried is justice the, initially whatever happened to the Bar lady the yes, doctor sir. the i mean the inquiry and everything what is coming in the newspaper which is against the women yes sir is it satisfactory whatever the inquiry was mm. done in the initial no state? sir any the first Her of body all was i mean cremated Her father was also I mean, I know that yes. because I informed quite uh, ten hours, eight hours later of the yes, election. sir. Even the affair was lost. Affair like was the, also lost after very late. Ah, uh, eight, ten, eleven hours after that. Yes, sir. Are you happy with that? Definitely not, sir. This is hmm. really not the right step to take at that point of time and misleading parents. at first impression that the that that has been communicated to the parents by the hospital faculty and fraternity was that uh, she had committed suicide this is very misleading i feel this has been a very disproportionate action in one way somebody has been killed or uh, what is that basically raped and murdered yes sir and other way you will say that the aparajita or some law has been formulated how do you take both of it in one hand something is Being happened or something has been kept hidden. They have not disclosed the truth before the parents are public. Yes, sir. Or they have misleaded the, I mean, witnesses or the evidences. Yes, sir. In other way, you are saying after some days that some laws has come. We are uh, determined for that law. How do you take it, sir? Hypocrisy. Sir, yes, definitely hypocrisy has been shown by the government in charge. over there but uh, i really feel we need stringent laws as well but that is not sufficient that's what i am trying to say passing of any kind of bill any stringent action uh, is not actually sufficient that that is what i mean so i ma'am i probably feel that it is not going to impact the investigation in any way uh, but i think as uh, they are the chosen elected representatives those who are sitting in the state assembly so they should ask the right questions and uh, right debate should take place in the state assembly right bills in the right direction should be passed so it has been passed in the right direction i feel but it is too late and too little and that's what i feel so ye pragya yes sir what, what is your native place sir i belong Kendra to Pada. kendrapada hmm. district and i have the, um, i have i'm born and brought up in bhubneshwar okay subhadra yes the scheme was adopted recently yes sir is it good sir uh, it is it is a scheme that, yes sir uh, definitely it has some welfareistic tendencies as well uh, though the popular claim is that it tends to be having a populist scheme impression at the first hand but if at all uh, they are uh, giving cash vouchers cash vouchers in two installment per year and total 50000 in yes sir so i feel uh, that amount of money might empower the women those who are actually uh, facing issues because uh, the, in remote regions of odisha so this little amount of money might uh, go a long way for them not most but might it should go in a long way because a distress or a lady who was i mean you think about the family where nobody is there she is the only member of the family yes, if she gets something she can look after the children's education this health and small kind of very small start up can be also made at her level also yes yes sir do you know what is eco tourism yes sir what is that sir eco tourism is a, a hybrid concept that uh, that uh, utilizes the tourism potential of a state of a region by keep by also what, keeping what is agritourism agritourism sir i am sorry i am not able to recall right now i don't have adequate knowledge about it you lose it yes sir you completed from university which university no sir ravensa university so from ravensa yes sir
I mean, who is the, I mean, a popular figure in Jullo's in Odisha? Jullo, uh, particularly, sir, uh, I feel uh, our, uh, our uh, chairman of physics council of Revencha University, Professor Luna Samantha, she is a very renowned uh, person in geology field. She is a Google scholar as well. And uh, she has produced nearly 20, to th 20 plus PhD students. She has guided uh, 20 plus students for PhD. So she is well renowned as well. What was your subject in that written exam? Uh, optional paper, sir. Optional. sir. Political science and international relations. Mm, from geology, you went to that sphere again? Sir, actually, my entire academic background has been from science stream. I was never exposed to humanities stream in any way. Mm -hmm. So, when I started my full fledged preparation for UP, UPSC and both OPSC as well, civil services examination, I was introduced to humanities and I kind of liked it and my interest. Al uh, aligned with those subjects. So, I think I chose P political science and international relations as my optional subject because there are some portions of the syllabus that uh, aligns with uh, subjects and topics from GS2, ethics and essay paper. So, I feel that was the right choice for me. Subjects and we got you just after that. Yes, sir. Um, in NFS 5. Yes. What is our uh, nutritional level of uh, Odisha in where it starts for women? Uh, Ma'am, I'm sorry, I'm unable to recall accurately, but uh, I have some peripheral knowledge around it. So if I'm given the liberty, I can answer a few. Um, the women in Odessa particularly face anemia conditions, anemia conditions and uh, prior to around uh, 2005 and 6, there was a high incidence of maternal mortality rate as well, which has significantly come down. But uh, the neonatal care that their newborn babies and the mothers that are, they are getting is through ASA workers and uh, common service centers and uh, one-stop centers, I feel uh, it is not adequate. That's why we have not been able to reach our goal uh, in a very good way. Okay. How do we, uh, like, uh, we can keep that uh, What is the risk? Ma'am, uh, I am unable to recall accurately. Can I... It might be a simple blood test. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Yes, ma'am. Hemoglobin test, I meant. Okay. Yes. Um, and you have written that in your work in Yes, ma'am. Uh, on child protection. Child rights. Child rights. Yes. yes. It's for, it, it was an advocacy project, ma'am, actually. Okay. Uh, you, uh, it is no, ma'am. It was a col collaboration project with uh, one of the NGOs, Kalinga Kusum Foundation. So, I was selected in a... Uh, no, ma'am. It was an internship. It was an internship. I went through a selection process of brief interview there. And uh, they wanted uh, someone to select who has capacity to write reports or briefing outliners. And ma'am, there basically, it was a very sensitization project to sensitize the MLS, MLS and our Gram Panchayat resource persons about uh, child rights. Yes, you call it uh, local representatives? Yes, ma'am, local representatives and MLS. So, th random 30 MLS across party lines, uh, they were approached and they happily undertook this uh, Uh, Ma'am, because uh, it was, uh, they, they were just associate partners. The funding and everything came from UNICEF. And basically, UNICEF was the monitoring body of the uh, entire project. Which year did you start? Ma'am, 2022 to until 2024 beginning. You have not seen me. You have never been to UNICEF. 
No ma'am. No ma'am. My work was overall to handle, I, as I said earlier, my additional another work was to handle their social media platform. Yes, ma'am. Not to write, you said unless you are watching them. So that is okay. only you write by permission of others. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma Okay, ma'am. Never take interest. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what is the main uh, rights uh, children have? Child rights. Ma'am, uh, child rights, as per the UNICEF Charter and uh, the global international standards, it uh, revolves around four components. First is uh, survival, second is developmental. Third is uh, prevention. Fourth is participation. So, ma'am, uh, survival is like before uh, the child gets. Prevention. Yes, ma'am. There are four components of child rights: uh, survival, development, prevention, and participation. Prevent. Protection and participation. I'm sorry, ma'am. Protection and participation. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You have uh, taken political science. Yes, sir. We have gone through the constitution, how many of constitution? How many lists are there? Basic, sir. How many lists are lists? Sir, I'm unable to recall right now. List one, list two, list three. Constitution nine, the list nine. So state list, state list. Oh, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, sir. State list, union list, and concurrent list. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, actually, I'm not. No, no, sir. No, no, no. 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 Sir, my favorite uh, political thinker, if I have to say, I will go for Sir Aristotle. He is known as father of political science for all right reasons, sir. Plato? Sir, yes, Plato is considered the uh, teacher of uh, Aristotle. And Aristotle has given the critic of Plato's work and theories, actually. Uh, so, yes, sir, Plato forms the basis of Socratic tra tradition of political philosophy. Yes, sir. Who is this then? Republic? Sir, Republic uh, was written by Plato. What does it describe? Sir, it describes how, what is state, how does a state function and... What is the doctrine of ideal state? Doctrine of ideal state. Sir, doctrine of ideal state is a, is a state uh, where uh, the state is ruled by a philosopher king, where ideas, the idea of world is, uh, has greater paramountcy over real world. Do you think that uh, so all political personalities should be prejudiced? No, sir. I uh, I beg to differ on this. Uh, not everyone can be a philosopher to be uh, very a, honest. Sir. There is a philosopher politician. I mean, may not be a politician, but a philosopher who became the president of India. Sir, sir. Uh, a pardon? philosopher who became the president of India. Bharat Ratna, sir. Bharat Ratna. And today, 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 Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan, sir. Yes, yes, sir. He was a philosopher and uh, Eastern religion specialist teacher. Now, do you have just last question? Yes, sir. Uh, you must have uh, read about the uh, movement in Bangladesh. Yes, sir. In what way that incident has affected India? Sir, definitely. Uh, first of all, uh, India is surrounded by hostile and uh, troubled neighborhood. So, Bangladesh was a very long-standing trusted partner. So, it is going to hamper, uh, it is going to have uh, three type of in impacts. First is geopolitical impact because uh, sir, there are proxy games being played there. Uh, there are big uh, players like USA and China, those are involved in the backspace. That is a very geopolitical impact where uh, India has to sail through many diplomatic channels to overcome. Another so how is... Do you, how do you visualize 
Yes, sir. Did you pay for Prime Minister yeah. to Russia, then to Ukraine? Yes, sir. Uh, because when it goes to Russia, you can, yes, sir. How do you, what, what is the idea of what you did? Sir, okay. as PM Modi has already stated, this era is not an era of war. So, India is trying to play it uh, very safe and neutral, particularly sticking to our stand uh, without supplying any kind of arms, ammunition to both uh, both the sides and getting directly involved in the war. What but was trying the reaction from America when he visited Russia? Sir, sir what, what was the reaction from America? Sir, well, definitely they didn't find it very convincing. They they have been uh, uh, pers pressurizing India in some way or the other when we took uh, subsidized oil from Russia. They have been pressurizing us through black the, diplomacy the, channel. The diplomacy can be stamped by election. For American... American. Sir, uh, Kamala Harris and uh, Donald Trump is again... Who do you think will be better for India? Sir, definitely Donald Trump will be in the better interest of India-US relationship.